Talk to us about the desire, the need, the want for smaller electric vehicles right now. Absolutely. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah, um, the idea of this vehicle is it's a purpose-built vehicle for, for an individual. It's everything you would do individually. And what makes it really special is the idea that it's not an EV, that, that we're, a lot of those are coming out because the market loves them, but it's a really efficient and fun to drive EV. It's centered around one person. It's a quarter of the cabin space of a, of a four passenger vehicle. It heats fast, it cools fast. It's a quarter of the battery size, so it charges fast. And you get all the same range and mileage. It's just a, a really well-built vehicle for the purpose of urban mobility challenges. And actually we're finding uh, quite a bit of uh, great solutions for uh, last mile delivery, small parcel, things like that. Why not a motorbike? Um, well, this is a fully enclosed cabin. Um, we made a niche right between uh, micro mobility, which are motorbikes and scooters and, and cars. Uh, and part of this, it's classified as a, as a motorcycle. It does classify there, but you have power windows, power brakes, mm. uh, you get in, heating, cooling, air conditioning, heated seat, uh, backup cameras. Uh, so it's everything you could expect from a, from a vehicle, highway speeds, uh, 80 miles an hour, you, uh, 100 miles of range. It just gives you a, a lot more flexibility in all kinds of weather uh, that you might not get out of a two-wheel vehicle. And then it yeah. gives you all the efficiencies uh, uh, that you would get out of a four-wheel. So how many have been delivered to date? Uh, so we've got over uh, 60 vehicles uh, that we've delivered to consumers and uh, fleets. Wow. Uh, we're continuing to ramp up production. Yeah, we started in October 4th, where we, uh, we had our inaugural uh, last year, and we just keep uh, ramping up. And talk to us about the manufacturing goals, therefore. Uh, absolutely. So we, we currently produce uh, out of China with uh, our partners and industrial. And what we've done is uh, there's about 20,000 units of capacity. But as you know, the... The market is tough with supply chain issues, mm -hmm. chip shortages, logistics. So we've uh, actually put a plant in in the U.S. to service the U.S. So uh, now we've uh, increased our capacity, doubled it, uh, and, and more. We have room for more expansion. But the whole idea is to, to really give uh, start out on the West Coast, uh, California, and five states, go north and go east so that we can uh, make sure we proliferate uh, and, and give people what they're really looking for, right tool for the right job. So making in China... Canadian company, but your focus point is is America thus far, West Coast, then East Coast. Who else is buying? Has it all those sixty deliveries been to American buyers? Yeah, all all U.S. at this point. Um, our, our focus is to expand into Asia once we get our capacity in the U.S. rolling. With our uh, and by the way, our U.S. capacity is for a domestic product, so U.S. sourced, U.S. delivered, serve the U.S. market, and then our Asian manufacturing will then convert to Asian deliveries so we'll have the, the Asian markets also and can you give us an idea of who the purchases are you said there's been interest certainly in the delivery space is that who's buying is it individuals who just want an easier way to work so uh, yeah it's, it's a real mix we've seen a, a 50 50 60 40 kind of split where retail sales for people who really want to solve these urban mobility challenges parking challenges so half of them uh, have been gone to these uh, very patient uh, customers we had uh, back orders and, and we are filling the orders as fast as we can, but we really got a heavy interest out of out of uh, retail. So, or, 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 uh, sorry, out, out of the um, commercial folks. Mm. And uh, now we've sold to a series of, of initial buys, initial sells uh, for these commercial users. And we're starting to see a lot of delivery, a lot of uh, restaurants, things like that, that are wanting to deliver themselves. And this is an ideal solution because usually there's only one driver to, to yeah. do deliveries and small, convenient, very economical. So it. Uh, it fits nicely into into the next step. Seems to be an evolution going on in the in the food delivery and small parcel delivery market right now.